In this episode, I will be creating an art journal page. I will be working in my small art journal and I will start by creating backgrounds using the ink sprays. The inspiration for this art journal page is somewhat unusual. Normally, I would create a page based on something I want to say or emotion I want to express, but this one I decided to create to remind me of something. Uh, you see me working here with um, ink sprays in my splatter box. And since I got a little bit too much ink in places, I'm blotting it off with paper towel. And this will be my background. The idea is to create an ocean scene. Not exactly an ocean scene, an ocean feel. And I'm using a stencil and spraying water through the stencil because I want to lift a little bit of the ink off the page just to add some additional interest to the background and not have it so uniformly covered in ink. I was not sure if it will work because I've never tried these set after ink sprays if they lift using water but as you see it does the ink soaks into the paper it means that there will be less of it left on the page for my background and let's lift the stencil and see if I succeeded indeed it's not a striking and bold effect but there is something so I'm quite happy with that but as always I will use the same stencil to add even more subtle details so I'm using the um, inks in the same um, tone more or less as my sprays and I'm going through the stencil adding little tiny lines which again will not drastically change the background but will make it less uh, monotone for a braver touch I'm using the purple on top of the blue and turquoise. So the film, the film that inspired me to create this was um, a film I accidentally stumbled upon here on YouTube and it is a cartoon and it is called Fisherwoman and Tuk Tuk. And I watched it, it made me feel all kinds of feels, <laughs> happy, sad and joyous and everything. And that's why I wanted to create this art journal page to be reminded of this film. I want to, when I list through my art journal, to be reminded of this film and all the emotions that I felt. And this is um, still me working on the background. I only found, you see that one little tiny dot? That's a stamp with a fish on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only fish stamp I have, turns out. So I carved my own uh, fish stamp just to have a slightly bigger fish. Was it necessary to carve my own stamp? Absolutely not. Did I enjoy every second of carving the stamp? Absolutely yes. So <laughs> I'm using this stamp and again the same inks I already used for the background to stamp fish without any rhyme and reason just fish maybe it looks like a fish skull maybe it doesn't it doesn't matter and the important thing for me was not to try to recreate a scene from the cartoon since it is a cartoon it is already drawn so if I would try to draw something myself I would just copy a scene from the film and that is not what I wanted so I'm letting the film inspire me so there was ocean there were fish after all the film is about a fisherwoman and I'm just using these ideas to create my background without without trying to make you know a proper scene with a foreground background and just putting the elements from the film on the paper and seeing where it will lead me and how this will look at the end. I'm adding a little bit more dimension to the fish using the uh, ink sticks 
and then it's time to move on to the focal points of my pa page and I will be drawing my own tuk-tuk. I watched this film several weeks ago so I do not remember the tuk-tuk in detail and maybe that's exactly good I will draw my own version of a tuk-tuk. So I sketched it out in a pencil and went over it with a black liner and then again using the ink to shade and color my tuk-tuk. And since this film has a slightly abstract touch to it, the way it is designed, the way it is painted and drawn, it is just slightly, slightly abstract. I was very happy to use the inks because they, first of all, let me replicate the bright colors of this film, but secondly, they lend themselves beautifully the, to this type of um, slightly abstract shading. I am not blending the colors, I'm just using the areas of darker and lighter colors. And they suggest the shadows and highlights, but without uh, trying to blend them. I did speed up this part quite a lot because this is not really a coloring tutorial. It is more about uh, showing that the inspiration for an art journal page can come from a source like this, just a film you watched. And it can be even a cartoon. And by the way, if you would like to watch the film, I will link to it in the description under this video. I really s suggest that you watch it and see how cartoon can be emotional and have such a deep idea and be optimistic and happy and unhappy and everything. All the feelings in this one short cartoon. At the beginning of the film they show all the awards this film has gotten and I totally understand why. After finishing the coloring, I'm, I'm repeating the black lines with the black liner and also adding some additional little details to the drawing. Now I need to create other very important element and those are cats and I am not a cat person, I am a dog person, which means I do not have a single stamp of a cat in my collection. So I had to make my own stamp again. So I created two cat stamps and I will be stamping them on the same paper and coloring. Uh, those are very very simple cat shapes. First of all because it's easier to make a stamp like that <laughs> and second of all again this plays into the abstract idea of the aesthetics of this film. These cats look nothing like the cats in the film at all, but as I said I wanted just a representation of the ideas and images uh, in the film. I'm coloring my cats using the same method without trying to blend different shades or different values of the same color. I'm just putting uh, blocks of them in my shapes and they suggest a shadow. And I'm still using the bright colors. I am only staying away from the colors I used in the background. So I'm staying away from blues and teals so that my elements on the top of a page do not disappear in the background. This is not what I want this time. I want the page really to be bright and vibrant. And when the coloring is done, I'm repeating the contour again, which got covered by ink with the black liner and drawing in, a s in some simple cut faces. And then it's just a matter of cutting it all out. And here it is. But before starting uh, gluing them on my background, I want to add some more detail to the background. I want to create a border, so I found some shell stamps still in the spirit of being next to the ocean. I'm using black waterproof ink and stamping the shells around the page very randomly. I 
I do not want the shells to overlap, so I'm using a mask, a very, very simple mask, just a piece of paper to cover more or less the previous shape. And now to the fun part to gluing everything down. I'm starting with the tuk-tuk to which I glued the cuts which are supposed to be behind the tuk-tuk first. And then I played with the cuts to find placement for them. I will not have the Fisher woman herself uh, in my page because the original cartoon was drawn it was already painted drawn image and I was afraid that if I try to replicate it I will just make a bad copy of it. But I absolutely wanted to have cuts even if they are very very different cuts because to me it seemed that the cuts were in the most genius moment of the film. I think I will not give away a lot by telling that there was one moment in this film where the lady was yelling at the cats and I couldn't understand why and afterwards I did understand and it was oh please go watch the film <laughs> so I am going around the elements on my page with um, a blue ink pencil normally you know I would do it with a black charcoal pencil but somehow I thought that there is enough black already on this page with the shells so this time I'm creating sh a shadow using um, a blue pencil. I'm drawing a line around my elements and then diluting the drawn pencil line with a barely wet brush, creating a shadow. And then the last thing left to do is to glue down the sentiment. She dreams more often, then she sleeps. It is not a quote from the film. The film has no spoken text in it. There are sounds, indication of language, so whatever your language is, please watch it. You will understand the film. And then I decided to add one more little element, which are these uh, pearl drops. I borrowed this idea from card making, but why not on the art journal? So this is the finished page. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the idea of using a film as an inspiration. And please do go watch the film. Those will be 15 wonderful minutes. And if you decide to create something inspired by this film or any other film, do share it and I will link to the Facebook group where we can share photos in the description of this video. Bye bye and see you soon.